Oh, we're live, and um, all we can see is your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not quite ready. Evening all. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let me get myself organised. Okay, we kind of central. Kind of. Oh, look, I got a, I got a Furby on my shoulder. Oh. Hey, everybody all want one. <laughs> anyway, welcome to our Sunday hangout. Yeah. Um, if you're new here, my name is Nick. This is my wife, Andrea. And uh, what do we do? Uh, we're resellers. We're resellers. We yeah. buy and sell stuff and mm. sell it on the internet. And then we make videos talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> that sums it up. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and every Sunday we come on just to hang out with you guys, really, let you know what we've been up to, talk a bit about reselling, and um, yeah, have a chat. So, yeah. that is the format. Um, just going to go in the side chat. If you're new to these, there is a side chat that's live. You can pop in there and say hi, ask us questions, or just hang out in the chat, whatever suits you. Uh, first in today was Lucy and then Peter. I hope your game arrived, Peter. That should be with you by now. Uh, Robin, Andrea, who is falling on a bruise, is in. Yeah. And Lex. Hi, Lex. Want to um, say a few yeah, hellos Steve if I Andrew, scroll? Uh, Deal City is in. And... That's it so far. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not scrolling quick enough no. now. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few more people now. Um, Caroline Owens in, um, Jason, Jason, Stephen, Daniel, Paul, Amy, David, Elaine, and Gary. Monty's and trying to Monty's get in. Monty's trying to get in the door. We did try to shut him out, but... Now, you think we showed him with his new hairdo? Yeah, I'm fairly sure we did. Okay. Um, yeah, we did try to shut him out, but he doesn't like being left out, so he barks. And um, then Ellen ends up letting him in. Well, what were we going to talk about? Um, um, well, I'll... we've been, well, you've had a boot sale weekend. We've been to a boot sale today, and you yep. yesterday. We haven't bought an awful so... lot. Um, we really don't need masses of stock right now. Uh, we're still t both trying well, to plough through that backlogs. All the time. But and... we did. We still buy stuff. Yeah, but we didn't go nuts. No, we didn't buy no, tons of. We bought of a stuff. few nice bits, a couple of fails that we might share. Well, not terrible fails, but I'll share a couple of things that weren't as good as we hoped. Um, I went a bit mad on media. Yeah, you were just homing in on media. Oh, I got you? some cracking deals for FBA, which yeah. was good. Can you scroll down in the chat so yeah. I can actually see what people are saying? Hey, Gary. Um, Stephen yeah, Jones. Hey, Gary. Oh, hang on. What was? Oh, wow. We are way behind. There's loads of chat. Oh. Um, I just saw a question that I was going to. Oh. Infomatech. Wow. I thought I'd be here early, but a lot of you beat me. Oh, there's some fast people here. You've got to be in quick. Um, Lucy says, love the tops. Actually, a dress. I bought it in a charity shop today. No, Lucy's talking about me. She said, Andrea, unless you've changed your name. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about this. I had a bath when I got home and I thought, oh, I'm going to wear my nice new dress that I got from the charity shop. And um, I was yeah, really was today, hot because it, it was so hot in the bathroom and I had, had a hot bath. So I was trying <laughs> to get this on and it's a slip on. So the only way to go to get it on is to go through. So I stuck my arms through. And then I got the back of the dress caught through where I sleep and I couldn't get it free. <laughs> so I'm like stuck in this old position. Were you running around the house in your pants? I had to go find Ellen to free me. <laughs> where was that? Oh, I was having a nap at this You're point, I assume. And she was like, what have you done? <laughs> I've got the squeaky chair. You're squeaking in. like a good one. <laughs> um, there's no pick, says Patch the Retro Gamer. Nobody else is saying they can't see. Can you all see and hear us? I hope you can see us. Um, oh, Peter says, yes, Nick, I did a gaming haul and mentioned you and showed the game. Oh, right. I'm okay. way behind on videos. I'll try and catch that later on. Yeah, you've been busy this weekend because you've been helping your dad. Yeah, I've spent a lot of the time. I did briefly go to boot sales yesterday on the Saturday, uh, but most of the day, the day I spent demolishing a huge shed at my dad's and setting fire to it all which was quite a challenge um but yeah and then today my sister and her husband uh and others finished the job so that's all gone because he's ordered this massive new shed 
which is costing the best part of two grand, that it's going to go in place of the old one. Oh. So the former tech says, can see and hear the squeak. I'm really sorry. Every time I move, it squeaks. I so have annoying. oiled the chair. We just need a new chair. Okay. Um, right, am I at the bottom? Yes. Arsonist. What? We had to get rid of it. I really enjoy burning stuff. So I was in my element. Should you say that out loud? No, oh, it's fun. It's like the caveman in me. Um, I also want to say, I don't know if you guys caught it live, but on Wednesday we did another Price is Right show. I just want to thank everybody who joined in. Peter, who's in the chat, uh, was with us, and Vinny, and Karin, and Sue. Yeah. And yourself. And me. And you won, and only won. went and won it. Yeah, well, I think Karin really should have won it. But then... Yeah. Well, she wanted a tie break and it backfired because you because yeah. you won it yeah they're good fun so hopefully you've caught that if not it's it's on the channel so it's still available to watch if you want to catch up with that but not still didn't really though because i was everybody what? was over so it would have just gone on forever wouldn't it so we ended up going the closest oh god to the yeah amount. yeah <laughs> But it was yeah. good. I really enjoyed doing that. And thanks to Dave for the uh, all the different items that he found for that. And then I don't know if you guys are sick to death of hearing about this, but Ellen shared with you, didn't she? This Yanni. Oh, yeah, I didn't bring Yanni my phone and in. Laurel thing. Should I go and get my phone? I didn't bring it in. Yeah, go on then. Do you know? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Let me know in the chat if you've heard this this internet kind of sensation that's going around. It's a bit like the blue and black or white and gold dress um there's a bit of audio and different people hear completely different words and it blew my mind because andrea and i were hearing from the same bit of audio completely different words and it was nuts lex says yeah but i hear jenny <laughs> well i hear jammy <laughs> jammy i was here and then on the on the phone i heard both it changed halfway through for me and then we were watching some youtube clip and i was hearing it was changing wasn't it for me and you would only ever hear yeah yanni do you hear yanni or i never hear laurel no never no. never and it's it's messing yeah. with my head let me see in the chat That's if, if you've not heard this andrew will get it up on the phone and then you can let me know what you guys are hearing it's really freaky so gary says laurel lex is jenny but that's lex for you just hear something completely different yeah. um Super, oh, hang on, it's jumped. Oh, damn, where's it gone? Uh, trying to get back to where I was. Can't find the original thing now. Um, super duper Nolly, it says Laurel. Oh, the whole world knows, okay. Yeah, but I was genuinely freaked out by it. Yanni says Catherine, we'll play it now. There might be a handful of people watching who haven't heard this. I'm hearing Yanni again now. Right, put in what you're hearing. What are you hearing now? Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's okay, Lex, anytime. Always Laurel for Robin. I'm only hearing Yanni now. Defo Jenny. Matthew Matthew says Yuri. Robin's Laurel, see? Yanni Laurel, Yanni Laurel, Yanni Laurel. It's, it's, 50, it's the weirdest it's a 50 thing. 50 split. Laurel, Yanni, the Laurel, Yanni. The thing is that you heard Laurel on my phone. Yeah, and, and it changed. And then on, on TV, you can hear Yanni. But at, at different times, I've heard both on your phone. What as did well. you hear just then? Yanni really clear so weird anyway <laughs> it's got nothing to do with what we wanted to talk about but no, yeah we were sitting bizarre. there weren't we? we had a glass of wine we were freaking out and then ellen came in ellen comes in right she goes oh yeah if i concentrate really hard i can hear whichever one i want to didn't she mm. anyway. it's to do with pitch red lorry yellow i can't really can i struggle <laughs> with my r's at the best yeah. of times can you say that no, well, <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but yeah, the, 
whether you hear Yanni or Laurel is to do with the pitch and how you hear things. And I can't hear certain tones because you're deaf. No, well, because you're my, half deaf because my eardrum burst me out. years ago, so I can't hear certain tones. So yeah, I hear Yanni. And unfortunately, one of the tones she can't hear is my voice. <laughs> A lot of the time, it's true. It creates communication problems. Yeah, because you talk really low sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> all you hear in Yanni are freaks, says Flipping Fantastic Finds. That's all <laughs> I can hear now. I was hearing Laurel very clearly last yeah, night. I can't. I can't anyway. I haven't, I've never heard Laurel. Enough never. of internet nonsense. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Who's talking about the dress? Mm, so that, Lex? that was Lex. And also the dress was blue and black. No, the, it was the, blue dress, and gold. the dress is white and gold. There's no blue, blue in it. It's blue. It is a blue dress. Oh, whatever. I, I really couldn't care about the stupid but dress. I see gold, not black. What are we going to share? We're, we're not going to share everything. We'll pick and choose a few bits and bobs. Yeah, luckily the Furby hasn't got any batteries in it, has it? Yeah, picked up a Furby. <laughs> he's quite a cool one. He's one of the um, scroll down. Furby booms with the LCD eyes, but he's not, he's not fired up, so... I also picked up a little tiny mini one, didn't I? I don't think that's in there. But yeah, they're cool. I do like buying my Furbies. Um, I got a bunch of sealed media. I kept, just kept finding sealed media today that's perfect for Amazon. Oh, I miss the dog. Is he in his little... Monty's under there. In his little hidey hole. He's laying on the bubble wrap. He's unraveled it and laid, laid on it. Um, I bought one or two Now albums. I just kept finding Now albums. Um, I'm building up a, a bundle because they're not great. I mean, don't go out of your way to pick up now albums, to be honest. What I'm doing right now is building them up because the 100th one is out summer. Soon, yeah. I think we're on 99. So I'm assuming they're going to do something a bit special and it'll be on people's minds. So I'm building up bundles. And then we got to one stall and they had labelled individually everything on their stall, but it was really weird. It was like now 85. I didn't pay anywhere near these prices, by the way. £1.70. So why is that a little bit better than that one, which is £1.50, whereas this one was £1.25? And this was a good one. £2. And others were like 75p. And look. Anyway, I got them all. to do with age. Were the newer ones more expensive? I don't really know. Maybe. But anyway, I got them at uh, 25p each. And the Samulina, I mean, that goes up to 90. Mm. All the way back down to, I don't know where. So, yeah, great big stack of those, which is cool. Oh, does anyone remember these? Did you have this? Got hair in it. Huh? We've got hair in it. Uh, oh. Not one of ours. This is um, a Rubik snake. Let me scroll in the chat. It's not the original one. This was reissue, like a reissue thing in 2014 to celebrate 40 years of Rubik's puzzles. There's the Rubik. What's his name? Eno, wasn't it? Rubik. What does that say? Erno Rubik. Mm. Or Rubik Erno. Mm. Um, yeah. And we paid, what, 50p? These, these top end are about a tenner. They're not great. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen one. Yeah, I've had the vintage one before. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Sold that a couple of times. But, yeah, I do enjoy the uh, Rubik's puzzles. So that was nice to find, even though it's the modern one. Peter will like these. Didn't find much in the way of software today, to be honest. Nice little Tomb Raider, which will go into Amazon. I uh, can't remember what the cheapest FBA is. 12 £15, pounds, um, something like that. Stephen Jones said that he had the Resi same... Rubik snake and he got $12.99 on eBay. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I looked at one today that went for £10 with two two ninety nine shipping, so about the same. That's what I'll shoot for. It they're quite it's not as nicely made as the original, it's quite cheap and tacky. Um but yeah, glad I picked it up. So a couple of PS1 games, nothing major, but they'll go into Amazon. Now, guys, I've not had Sims 4 before. i think I think they're okay. I've sold loads of Sims 3. This isn't a one-use thing, is it? If anybody knows. It's got a key in it. Mm. Not sold Sims 4 before. I didn't know if they changed whether you can reuse them. 
Graham says, question, does Squeaky have any more clothing videos in the pipeline? Um, yes. I've got a really runny nose. Have you got any tissue? No, not on me. Oh, how annoying. Do you want me to go and get you one? Um, if you don't mind. <laughs> I picked yes. up a, a bunch of media, like I said. This isn't sealed, unfortunately, but it's still really good. And do you remember what they charged me for this? Is it something like 25p? Or 10p. 10p. All of their um, media was 10p and they had box sets. And... Did you want me to get your tissue? If you don't mind. I would go myself, but I can't get out faster. And what it says, it's um, Human Rights Concerts, 1986 to 1998. So it's a six, I think it's a six DVD box set. That's 10 pence. The cheapest on Amazon is over 50. And that's not an FBA seller. That's still got a fairly good rank. So just crazy. People were, oh, we've got a super chat. Hold on. Um, Mrs. Magpie, welcome. Has super chatted five pounds. Do you want to read out the super chat? I've just spotted that. Oh, uh, from Mrs. Magpie. Yeah. It says, just a small token to thank you both for all the great content you generously give out every week without fail. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Thank you. That's a really nice message. We really do appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, we really enjoy it, but it it, yeah. it is a lot of work to keep up with. I won't lie. Sometimes it doesn't feel like great content when we just sit here and ramble on and we sometimes think we're boring people. But I anyway. think these are our most popular videos where we just ramble aimlessly. Um, anyway, so yeah, hopefully 10 pence into 50 pounds or so before fees on that, which is nice. Worse than ever before. <laughs> I'll try and do something with it during the week. Another store they had hundreds of DVDs. <laughs> what? Lisa says, good evening, Superman and Lois. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that um, the original what? Lois Lane died? Really? Yeah, she was found dead last week. The house. original Lois? Yeah, in from the, the, film? the Superman films. Oh. Yeah. Not Terry Hatcher then? No, I can't remember her name. No, I can't even picture her. That's yeah, a shame. I can, but... Um, yeah, it really was a day of media for me. We got to a stall and the floor was just covered, wasn't it? Do you remember the stall where I got these? And there must have been three four hundred dvds and it was all four for a pound Margo Kidder. oh okay name doesn't ring a bell to be honest uh yeah it was all four for a pound so i grabbed some sealed box sets um like this for example it's only csi but because it's sealed i think the cheapest is like 20 25 on fba this is uh sealed sex in the city not great about 10 to 15 oh that was from somewhere else wasn't it dynamo I only paid a pound, it's marked at two. Cheapest FBA on that box set uh, is 40. But yeah, this stall, I just grabbed a bunch of box sets and sealed bits and they were all four for a pound, weren't they? Yeah. And this is good. Uh, on Amazon, I think I'm gonna shoot for about 30, 35, something like that. No FBA sellers that, that I remember. So yeah, it's just oh, easy money. And I love FBA because I will just stick it all in a box, no hassle, send it away, never see it again. Um, yeah, sealed stuff, sealed again from the guy where it was all four for a pound. Um, and it went on and on and on. Um, but it's not very exciting, so let's move on. Oh, I did get a, I got a vintage Game Boy. Not in the best condition, but I'm going to try and test it now and see if it works. Build up the tension. I've got some batteries ready. But these things are pretty bulletproof. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> but entertain people um, while I look for it. Well. <laughs> I found it. Found it. You found it. Well, one stall, um, <laughs> the lady and the gentleman had very different opinions on what should happen with this, didn't they? Yes. Do you remember? Yes. Um, lady wanted £15 for it, didn't she? And, well, for um, the whole bundle. Yeah. And um, she walked away, and I think you offered 10, did you? And then he said, I'll take 12.50, but don't tell us you'll kill me. Yeah, she was just at the other end of the store, and he comes back and goes, 12.50, but shh. So we're like trying to hand over money and get changed, and then she came back and she he goes, said, I'm, I'm going to tell her that I've, I've, I've yeah. sold it for 15. <laughs> so it was really awkward because then she came back over and she went, Oh, you bought it then? I went, Yep. Yeah. And she looked at her husband and went, £15, yeah? And he went, Mm hmm. <laughs> So what it was, um, there's a DS Lite, which is red in really nice condition. 
doesn't have a charger i haven't tested it but again these are fairly bulletproof and if they're in good condition I bet they're, not bulletproof. they're red no there's rarely anything wrong with them it's got a game in there which oh it's just snickle fritz g-force which is a bit rubbish uh and some other fairly bog standard software touch master more brain training i see these in every charity shop um every other car boot sale store Do you remember when we used to sell these like for 20 odd quid in the mm. shop and jewel quest anyway so my money is safe in there with a little bit of profit on top but then the nice part of the deal was in a cool little vintage newbie case which itself will have some value it's a vintage sorry game that, boy. i'm sorry gary that no, i thought my chair is squeaking i can't do anything about it <laughs> get the chair fixed okay that's my mission for the week is it it's annoying people it's annoying me <laughs> Anyway, it's missing its little plastic cover, which isn't the end of the world. Um, I should be able to get a replacement for that. Hey, what was that? Can't read it. What have you Some sold? shorts. Some shorts for 15 quid. Yeah. And it has some software. And I had all three of these games when I was oh, in about 91. So I was about 18. You've got Super Mario Land, which is brilliant. I've completed that so many times. One of my favorite games of all time, Tetris and Alleyway, which is basically Arkanoid. It's a bounce the ball breakout game. So what I'm going to do, it's not in the best condition. As you can see, it's missing this little fascia bit on here. And the battery cover, I mean, the battery compartment is all right, but it's got a little bit of corrosion. So taking bets, is it going to work? What do you reckon? I reckon I've had so many of these over the years. I reckon about one in every 20 doesn't work, if that. There's one of these in a museum. In really bad condition, though. Yeah. There's one of these, I think it's in a Nintendo <laughs> museum somewhere, that went to Iraq in 90, when was that? 91, 92. And it was all burnt and battered, and it still worked. And it's in the Nintendo museum. Okay, so I may have to do a little bit of jiggling about with the batteries. Really? Bit of gaming. Drum roll. <laughs> oh, nothing. That's attempt one. I will get this thing working. <laughs> Techniques. <laughs> roll the batteries. Oh, don't let me down. Right, amuse the people. I've got. To I've got to make this work now. <laughs> Oh, it says, flashed. I, I never find Nintendo stuff apart from the Wii, but I always find none. <laughs> but I always find none, no squeaky chairs. Maybe we should swap car boots. Oh, crap. Nearly not my drink. Non squeaky over. chairs. I think that's what to say. I was, yeah. So we have to get a non squeaky chair. Now, we need a non squeaky we? chair. All right. Yeah, I think Jackie said about WG40. I think you tried WG40. It didn't do anything. I couldn't really get to the issue. I need to take it apart properly. It flashed a minute ago. Oh, it's teasing me. That red button, red light flashes. Oh dear. Nothing if not tenacious. <laughs> tenacious D. Yeah. Have they but ever, have they keep done... keep flanneling. I'm going to make this work. <laughs> have tenacious D actually done anything new? Or... Not for a long yeah, time. Have they? They did, um, they did that film, and then I don't know if they did anything after that. Pick of Destiny. Don't know. Now nah, keep the chair, make it a thing. Stream Andrew says, Own "Amazing it. to think there's 240 people watching a bloke trying to get some batteries to work in an old toy." <laughs> I'm Told be, you, we bore you. Sometimes. I'm going to be so disappointed now if I've built this up and it doesn't work. Oh, but it flashed at me. Jeez. Maybe the batteries are dead. No, they're new. Yeah, Kay said, are oh, they new? They are. They are new. I'm not very good at admitting defeat. <sighs> oh, oh, I had a flicker again then. Oh. It's a connection issue. Maybe do this later. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can show some stuff. <laughs> Have you got any stuff to show? Oh, I've got two things. Right, you do that. And I, I'm did, gonna... I did go a little bit crazy on like Wicker stuff today, but that's not for sale. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just annoyed you with um, buying stuff, didn't I? Yeah. The Wicker obsession is real, folks. Wherever it's we go really now. real. I might even share it on Instagram. I reckon these springs need pulling out. This right, will do it. I bought... Let's say you're done now, because now I'm going to share my two items of clothing. No, no, I haven't got it working yet. <laughs> I bought a kimono. Um, like that, like so. Oh, that come was on. just a pound. Um, I sold a kimono week before last, I think, and it went within a day. So I'm hoping with it, because there's lovely colours, so I'm hoping that that's going to go quite quick. And then I bought this with Ellen in mind, because she's looking for um, an oversized denim jacket. But she tried it on and she didn't like it. So I got a denim jacket as well. So nothing exciting. So is that to sell on now? Just a classic blue denim jacket. Um, brand that I've absolutely no idea who it is. But classic denim jackets always sell anyway. So, yeah, that should go fairly easily. Have you run out of stuff? <laughs> I've run out. That was my whole haul of two items. See, it flickers. <laughs> Other than stuff I bought for myself today. So annoyed. I was convinced this is going to work. Yeah, I know can it's we move on now? Because, you know. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'd give up if it didn't flash that light Look, on if you me. put the Game Boy on your head for 20 seconds and clap your hands three times, it'll work, says Lex. <laughs> have you started on the wine already, Lex? Oh, can I have a glass, you know? Oh, I'm sitting here putting up with you about trying that. to make your Game Boy work. I right, I will have this working by next Sunday. Uh, Mark my Stu words. Andrew says everybody start praying. God can get the Game Boy working. <laughs> Send positive thoughts of getting the Game Boy working. Not happy. I will make that work. But you're right. I can't. I can't sit here for a whole hour. Well, well, if trying you, to make it work. If you make it work, we'll put a little video on the chat chat. To show that it's working. <laughs> yeah, place your bets for next Sunday. Will it work? Will it work? Yeah, Fritz oh. says denim always sells for good money. Nice item. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a denim jacket <coughs> or a pair of jeans, really. So, and um, it's only a pound, so I haven't lost anything really. The puppet branch. I'm new FBA seller. Can I sell vinyl straight away, or will I be gated? Not sure. No, we've not tried to sell vinyl, have we? No, I have. Do you remember we got those um, sealed oh, records? Yeah. I sent all them up. Yeah. I think it's just a, it's the music category, isn't it? I don't think vinyl it's is... It's new chart CDs, like, yeah. modern chart CDs. Yeah, well, chart but it may be different for sellers. new. It may be different for new sellers as well. It might be. I know certain people we know are, are gated and stuff that we're not and vice versa. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. Um, oh, I'm annoyed. I was all excited to make that work. Anyway, yeah. other stuff. Um, a couple of things that we got all excited about oh. because talking of vinyl reminds us of our past. And this is an artist yeah. that both of us really still do really love. Yeah, and we're going to see again um, at Rewind. We're going to see him again live. This is Nick Kershaw. And it's a really cool Don Quixote picture disc. Unfortunately, I did a little bit of, I haven't had much time to look things up properly, but I did do a search and there were loads listed and only one had sold in recent, you know, in the last whatever it is, 30 yeah. days or three months, whatever that search history is. Um, but they managed to sell it for eight pounds. So it's OK. But like you said, we just couldn't leave it behind for a pound. It's such a cool thing. Yeah. And then go on. Uh, Stephen Jones says there's some good YouTube videos on fixing Game Boys. I'll make it work. And also, if um, I noticed Darren did a video recently about sometimes with the Game Boy, you lose pixels in rows because of connect connection issues. Uh, and he put a video up of how to fix that. So if it's got any pixel issues, I will refer to Darren at Smart Resellings video. I don't know if Darren's in tonight, actually. And the other one, personal favourite band of mine, Pet Shop Boys. And I thought, oh, there has to be money in this. Picture disc. Obviously, really early from their career. It looks about, I reckon this is actually sort of... Yeah, it's just an actually. interview, isn't it? Yeah, but an it's interview. an interview disc, yeah. I had a very similar Depeche Mode one as well. Yeah. But there's no money in it whatsoever. No, and it turned out it was supposed to have a card sleeve or something Yeah, like it that. does have a card sleeve it should be in. Mm. Um, 
but I will probably put it in one of those. You can get um, LP frames. We've got a, a Jackson 5 uh, picture disc in our living room that's framed in an LP frame. That um, Poundland were selling LP frames. Yeah, Tiger sell them as well. I've got mine in Tiger. Oh, are they pound in there as well? Yeah, a bit more. A bit more than, than oh, okay. Tiger. Yeah. But what I may do at Christmas is just frame it up and then make it more of a gift item for the Pet Shop Boys fan in your life. But I don't know. We were discussing, would you frame it that way or that way? That, to me, is a much nicer image. Don't know. Which well, I prefer? said that we take a picture of it done both ways and then, you know, it's the choice of whoever buys it. Reversible. Yeah, so that was those. Basically a bit of a fail, but it's only pound in on each. So yeah. Yeah. Apparently Tenacious D are making a new album and they're going on tour in the US soon with a new movie. Oh, look how much I caught the sun, guys. Oh, Holy And the cow. stupid thing is, I took sun cream and we didn't put it on. That's quite brutal, that line. That's really bad. Wow. But then you may have caught that yesterday as well. Yeah, I was out working in, on yeah. the shed for half a day. Um, yeah, do you want to show that camera? We both looked at these, didn't we? Yeah. I can't pick these bowls up. We've got some lawn bowls. Well, you show that, and I'll, <laughs> if I do it that way, I'll... Yeah, there was a lady. That. This was right at the end of the boot sale, wasn't it? Was this the one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she was packing up. Um, and I think she was a photographer, actually. Do you think? Yeah, after after a while, sort of listening to her talking to other people, um, I think she was a photographer. And this is, she had a few cameras left. I think she sold all of her best ones. But this is a um, Canon Shaw shot. It's not very focused. Yeah, so it's a really um, early version of a Shaw shot. Yeah. And it's just looked really nice and really interesting. So, yeah, they're super trendy now, I point and click 35mm cameras, aren't they? Did you look this one up? briefly while we were there because we were really unsure yeah um not worth a great deal but we um, enjoy did we pick up a minolta as well Could have been not. no that one was knackered remember the battery had le oh. leaked i yeah. think we were going to yeah so anyway i got that for a quid no there was there was another one actually there was that's the only one we bought today yeah there was another one that i saw that i really liked the look of but that wasn't a minolta that was Something oh, the you, really old one. Yeah, something that you thought would <coughs> you, well, you weren't sure about the brand. I and don't know. yeah, and that was it was all sort of rusted at the bottom. I can't remember. So long ago. Um, I shifted the, the lawn bowls I picked up ages ago. You may remember we went to a jumble and then we went charity shopping, and I picked up a set of lawn bowls. Hold on. I'm not sure if they're here and Becca in the and, chat. Somebody's saying hello. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I managed to shift those lawn bowls for £45 with £10 shipping uh, a week or so back. And then yesterday I found another set by the same make, which is Henselite. Um, unfortunately, these, for whatever reason, I've done a few searches. They're not very good. I think I'm going to struggle with them. I only paid £8, which is about half what I paid last time. But I'm going to get about half the money I got last time. Mm. I think 20 to 30 is going to be real top end, more likely 20. So I don't know if it's an age thing with bowls or what. It's the same brand, uh, Henselite Super Grip. These are even, even got a, the Haviland Bowls Club brand new little cloth. But yeah, so slightly disappointing. Um, not as good as the other ones. And my mum and dad um, are very keen bowlers. My dad's the president of the bowls club and all this stuff and he yeah. last set he bought cost him hundreds 100 and at least over 100 anyway and they were used mm. and they were hence like so i don't know i don't really know the ins and outs of it but that wasn't as good as not a complete fail but not great people are asking if you're drinking vodka vodka no <laughs> yeah. not tonight CP says that you're struggling with your balls this time. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I am. Um, there was a question just above. Somebody asked us when we were going on holiday. Um, we're going on holiday L33, in... 33 is that Mrs. or MRS? July we're going um, on. How long before you go on holiday? And do you put your holiday, if you shop on holiday mode, um, does it take a few days? 
no it does it instantly when you put on holiday mode but you have to make sure that you change the dispatch time on all of your listings because quite a lot of people miss the fact that you're on holiday and um, if it still says dispatched within two days a lot of people still expect it within two days so you really need to change your dispatch time to however long it is going to be that you're away for yeah and then last time we did it what wasn't i adjusting it daily to yeah come down? Well, yeah i mean if you want to do that yeah <laughs> Uh, David Moss, I'll buy the Game Boy off you, Nick. Okay, well, I'm determined to get it working regardless. Um, but yeah, drop me a message, um, give me a price. No, I might, I might are you have sure to. Sure, he's not joking. <laughs> a lot of people fix them up. I'm determined anyway to get that working for next week, whether David ends up buying it off me. Um, well, Bigfoot says something about the lawn bowls that they have a different bias or something. Yeah, there's different weights and all sorts. It's yeah. quite technical. Yeah. Um, okay. Nick's going to struggle with his balls this time. Oh, we've already been um, there. Metric Mo is first time tuning in. So hi, thank you for joining us. Hello there, Metric um, Mo. Been reselling for a month. Dead pile is still dying. <laughs> I'm a bit like that with my clothes, I have to say. Yeah. yeah this week i have been really enjoying i have to say listing endless piles of magic the gathering cards um had a few sales straight away i haven't listed the good stuff yet we've had four or five sales of the stuff i would thought yeah. would be slow so yeah um but yeah. i have a long way to go to get through that and it doesn't take up much space i think this is why i've left these for so long it was like mm. two or three crates worth and it's just sat up on that back shelf in this where this hat gap was. Easy to hide away. Easy to hide away. And it, it'll probably take me a week or two to finish it. Mm. There's thousands of cards there. And it won't actually create much space. But I've started now, so I'm going to finish. Oh, no. Andrea found we've kind of veered away from mugs in general. Because they're slow and, yeah. But you, in the Disney vein, talking about our holiday... We're off to Disney soon. Just, just attracted to anything Disney, to be fair. And you found that. Do you want to yeah, show that? It's really cool. And it's new. It hasn't been used yeah. because the spoon is still attached. And it is, um, it came from Orlando, Florida, funnily enough. If you can see, see that? Orlando, Florida. Which is so, where we're um, going. Yeah. See, I think that one will sell. I think we may struggle on this one. They were 50p, were they? Yeah, it's not an official Disney one, but it did come from Orlando. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, ah. it's Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Lewis? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is official Disney. It's Disney Store. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think, but I think this we may struggle with. Who knows? But I really I like, the, I like the style I of liked, that one. I liked that. There's not a great deal of money in most Disney mugs. Uh, no, it's quite a flooded then, market you get something you know that's really sought yeah. after the bigger barrel ones and the ones with kind of um raised images on mm. can go really well nightmare before christmas stuff can go silly but yeah, yeah. we thought we'd um but sleeping beauty i mean i put that a down a couple of times and walked away and then when we bought that we said oh we'll just give it a go yeah so you were you were gonna leave it's it. only 50p so and i bought, I bought some other stuff from there didn't we and we kind of lumped it all together but i yeah. can't remember Let's anyway so we will Let's experiment with those i think i've only just got rid of a load of mugs that we had listed before some that were really slow i marked them right down i don't know what else to share oh is the here in have you seen Zahir pop up Zahir, i haven't seen so here always talks about so wrestling somebody belts. said hello so i'm not sure if he's there he how be. much will you sell a disney princess mug for asks lisa I don't know we haven't even looked to see if there's any completed or whatever but if you're interested lisa just message us and you can have it oh and Kay says can i send you a message on facebook about the mugs please yes yeah please do yeah if you go into the nick and andrew hills facebook page and pm us on there that's probably the best way to contact us um yeah so we don't oh, know lisa's asking how much i don't know we haven't looked it up yet <laughs> oh right Drop us a message, let, let us know what it's worth to you, and uh, we'll probably just say yes. 
Um, Carla is the first come first on <laughs> We'll put it up for bids. They'll be racing to email now. <laughs> I didn't think we'd sell it. Um, yeah, like I say, I don't know if Zaheer is in, but Zaheer many times has shown that he's done well with uh, WWE wrestling belts, and I've never seen any. Oh, so, so he was here, but he might be having a nap now. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably gone out for a kebab. So here, are you out there? Look what I found. Three of these. <laughs> They're not great. And I was chatting to the people and said, but they've been cut because surely they're meant to have longer things. And they were saying, oh, no, they haven't been cut. But look how clearly that's been cut. Yeah. they've And they've been a bit drawn. These on. were um, stuck to a boy's wall, weren't they? He was Apparently. explaining that he had them stuck to the wall. So I bought three. This but, has yeah, got he's a... also written. Yeah, I reckon I could get that uh, off. Names on it, but yeah, you said you'd know how to. Yeah, it looks like it's just Sharpie. And, so yes. they're not great. I don't know. But I've always said to Zaheer, I never see those damn wrestling belts. And Zaheer <laughs> seems to pick them up quite regularly. Yeah. So I thought, even though they're a bit shabby, I'll buy them for a pound each. Because the condition isn't great, and I'm sure these have been cut short. Yeah. I'm going to uh, bundle them. It was already them. strange, wasn't it? Because we had to queue to get out of the car park, out of the boot sale. And um, as we passed that stall, because they were right by the, the gate and yeah. by the fence, and as we passed that stall, they were packing up. And the boy was going, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo, just waving at us. And we weren't sure if he was waving at us or not. So we were just I was just kind of trying to ignore, ignore him. him. He looked a bit And then he followed disturbed. us, didn't he? He followed us and he's still waving, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. <laughs> and then he started like, going, it's the Star I was wearing a Star Wars T-shirt earlier. And he goes, oh, it's the Star Wars, man. Because when we were buying these, the woman suddenly said to me, because you're into Star Wars, I've got something you'll be interested in. I'm thinking, what, you're just guessing because I'm a man of a certain age? Why are you showing me Star Wars stuff? Yeah, you were really confused. I, I understood. And I had, I had just, just <laughs> my black T-shirt that says Star Wars on. I was like, oh, I get it now. I want to go home. Why is she she's trying to sell me like Star Wars bath kits yeah she, like, with bubble bath and yeah. stuff and it? then she wanted to sell us um ww whatever um oh, bedding wwe and... bed set which might have yeah. been all right but it was not wasn't in great condition so anyway yeah. i i just bought her wrestling belts which aren't great either and i think i'm just going to bundle them to get rid and so here's there and he says marker pen will rub off but those do look cut yeah, yeah. that was what she I swore thought. they weren't but yeah <laughs> Oh, well. I'll take a look into them. I briefly looked. There's not a great deal of money in them if they're these particular ones yeah. from what I could see. But there's even no if way complete. that you could. I, I've never seen them before, but there's no way you could actually wear them because you can't. Not like this. No. Anyway, I will bundle and see if I can get rid. Um, what else? Oh, obligatory for me. Got quite a good deal on these tonight. Oh, is it a board game? Oh, I bought piles of board games, most of which... I'm not going to share because they're really dull. <laughs> oh, it's no. Do you remember what? Board did, game? No. Did, did I pay five of the lot on this? It's so funny because when Nick always buys Nerf every boot sale. Check and I have to be the guardian of his bag because he puts his bag down and then starts browsing on other stalls. And people come behind and start taking the Nerf out of the thing. How many and, times and going, today? Dad, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been three times today. People just walked up by the side of me yeah. and just started making off with my Nerf guns. I know. Right, I need thumbnail time. You gotta get, go, go like that, yeah. That's so contrived. Go on, go. <laughs> okay. I'll see if I can use that as a thumbnail. So, yeah, I Being think. my double chin. I think it was a, a fiver. Oh. Do you remember that? Um, oh, no. I think I'd switch off when you're looking at Nerf guns. <laughs> anyway, I, I think I got them down to five for the lot. So a great big mega, like, one of them ones. Like bow. Bow style ones. This is cool. This takes the little um, discs. Well, it would if I could get in it. There you go. Oh, it's got some in it. Oh, now they're glow in the dark ones. Oh, epic. Glow in the dark discs. Oh, Peter Ray says, was that the John Cena spinner belt? I think it might have been. It spins. Mm -hmm. Who it? Well, some somebody has written on in in marker pen, John Cena, <laughs> down the bottom there. Yeah, it definitely spins. It says Raw, WWE Champion, Monday Night Raw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I was going to show it spinning. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, one of those disc ones. I've got a great deal on this. And it was a guy, you know, when you're that guy who rocks up just as somebody else is making off with something you're interested in, there was a guy that rocked up and he was like, trying to lean in and grab it just as we did oh, the deal no. and I was just putting them all in my bag and he was like oh yeah. um yeah that's a 32 of these can't remember how many is in these I mean that's that puts me in profit on the whole thing already this is Carol says ha huh, Nick's happy with his toys yeah this is one of the, um, the zombie strike ones somebody and it's gone past now so I didn't see who it was um said that the Belts generally have Velcro things on them. Ah, uh, yeah, well, last don't. Okay. They've been chopped. That's diggy. Do you mind? I'm not shooting you. There's nothing in them. Oh, there's an ammo clip with ammo. <laughs> Gary says, wow, a signed WWE belt worth millions. Oh, yeah, it's signed. <laughs> yeah, that looks like John Cena's handwriting. Winner, winner. Check that out. That makes it, oh, thousands. In fact, um, they're all signed. This one signed by Batista. There you go, that. It's funny how his handwriting looks like a five-year-old's. Jay Wannabeeb, I assume, is in America. So lifting out of a person's cart happens all the time in a thrift store. So I grab a coat or blanket from the store and throw it over my stuff. So far, it has worked. Carry a blanket to the car boot. Now, that's a good tip, actually. Yeah. Normally, I have like a trolley, like a four yeah. wheel trolley. But we can't fit that but in. People the lift out of that. I've had stuff stolen out. Oh, of yeah. Um, but at the moment, we've been using the but, mini, so there's very little space to but put out of the car trolley. In. I mean, that's more obvious. People can see that it belongs to you. But with the IKEA bags, it doesn't stop. A lot of people have the IKEA bags um, on their stalls with stuff in to rummage so it does look when nick puts it down next to a stall it does look to be fair like it it belongs to the stall and people see nerf guns sticking out of it and they just make a beeline they for do. it don't they yeah anyway and last thing in the bag is the ammo belt i've sold these for like about a tenner each so anyway that was an epic little nerf score i do have uh all of this is nerf and here's a couple of boxes right in that corner rammed with nerf and it'll be summer soon. Mm. Nerf time. Um, Quillen's in. Hi, Quillen. He says, Nick, I picked up WWE tees at that sale. No Transformers. Oh, you didn't get the Transformers. Yeah. Rob was messaging me about some uh, Transformers at a, an estate sale. Oh, okay. Which looked good. I don't know if they were vintage. Did you find out if they were? But he didn't manage to get them, which was a shame. I picked this up, which is Arsenal... Monopoly, the 2002 edition. I don't think it holds a lot of value, but it is sealed. So I may, I haven't checked yet on Amazon. Mm, well, it's oh, sealed the, <laughs> the seal is a little, that's so annoying. Isn't that the worst thing when you've got a sealed item yeah. and the seal's a little bit ripped? So I may not send that to Amazon in that condition because Amazon are ridiculously fussy. Well, I understand why. If something's new, that, that, no, that's a no-no. The Amazon. guy started trying to talk to you about Arsenal, didn't he? You're like, because oh, I'm playing an Arsenal game. Obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan. Not yeah. have no clue about football. And he was waffling on about yeah, back when they were good, bloody blood. I'm like, mm, okay, just take my money. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see how we could go on that. There's a big pile of board games here. Um, nothing particularly good, but these are worth looking out for. Not just any old Scrabble. It's deluxe. What does deluxe Scrabble involve, I hear you say? Sammy the Seal says mm. Arsenal Monopoly is about £25 on eBay new. That one? That's the 2002. I think there's been a few. Mm. I can't remember, but yeah. That would be nice if it is, if it's new. Yeah, deluxe Scrabble... Um, goes well mainly i think because of these really nice boards which have little raised sections i sold the board on its own before when i picked up one of these and the box was knackered it was missing loads of tiles so i sold just the board can't remember what i got but you see it's raised in between really nice to play on and it's and it revolves on this center point there being a scrabble fan 
I would, oh, I'm tempted to keep one of these. Apparently, if Arsene Wenger is on it, then it's worth a bit. Arsene Wenger. I do know who Arsene Wenger is, to be honest. Uh, I can't see him. No. I can see. Is that Ian Wright? It's got Henri. Can't see any Arsene on it. Um, anyway, yeah, so what happened? What is in Scrabble Deluxe, you say? Mm. Uh, well, Quillen says he's surprised you know who Arsene are. <laughs> I do know a few things. Um, it has a little timer, a little battery operated timer. Oh. Morse code. Morse code. <laughs> um, and everything else is regular. It's mainly the, the board that's a special bit. Um, the most I saw for this edition when I checked just before we went live was 30. Um, currently, uh, a lot had sold for a lot less than that. Um, but this one looks to be complete. It's got its rules and the score pads and everything. So, yeah, happy days. And I paid three, I think. Uh, where did I put the lid? Oh. That's that. Was there anything yeah. else we wanted to share? Or should uh, we just... I don't know. It's mainly just media stuff now. Yeah. Mm, I think that okay. might have been it. Oh, we're getting messages coming in up there. Close that. Right. Barry Francis, that Scrabble board makes it harder to throw a hissy fit and dump the tiles when you're losing. We enjoy playing Scrabble, don't we? Well, I do. I enjoy playing it, but I never win. Yeah. We play it with my parents, and the, uh, my mum's pretty damn good. But you always win. I don't always do. win. I do always win. Upwards is the one I always win. <laughs> yeah, I like upwards, actually. I prefer that to Scrabble, because you can change the words. <coughs> upwards is great if you've not yeah. played it. Great game. Um. I was going to say, we haven't yet added our sponsorship money that we've been collecting, like real money. We had a sponsorship form as well as the online page. We're going to add in all of that uh, sometime this week, aren't we, when that's all collected. And then hopefully next week we'll give you a total from the walk. I'm working on editing the vlog of the day. Um, so we'll release that at some point in the week. Probably it'll be around Wednesday or something. Yeah, but you haven't um, put up your video of tom yet you, no i've still got to tom's. finish the vlog from tom's which yeah. is now how long ago is that he's like put his up weeks? yeah so yeah i'm a bit behind on videos apologies for that we didn't make a video today because we're so far behind anyway um james has got a question says on ebay i've been a part-time seller for a while now but keep running out of boxes do you buy boxes in bulk um you buy the bigger ones before, like, sending stuff up I'd to Amazon. Buy FBA double-walled ones. Do try to source them secondhand as much as we can. Yeah, and I'm going to do a video soon about how to get free packaging. Um, I won't go into detail now, but I, yeah, using Facebook, I've yeah, I've managed to get hold of all sorts of stuff. And then the I know the guys in two different shops. The place where I drop off my Hermes parcels and the local post office. I get boxes whenever I want. Um, my local pound land is fantastic. I get boxes from them. Mm. So I never really struggle. Yeah, wherever you go, you just walk out of boxes. Yeah. Was it Tesco's? We were in Tesco's shopping the other day, and I just I just walk out with boxes. Yeah. Just pick them up. They never mind. <laughs> They're filling the shelves, and you're going behind them taking their boxes. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're only going to chuck it away. So. Yeah. Although we were in one place once, um, and they, they refused to let me take any. Because they had they had a so called deal with a recycling firm that took all of their cardboard and they weren't allowed to give it away. Do you remember that? We were in the range, weren't oh, we? Oh, it's the range, yeah. That yeah. was weird. And it was like so I can't just have because I had some really nice little what I like is a really nice small tight fitting boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a load of them so and they wouldn't let me take just a handful. Look at Monty's all curled up in the oh, corner. No. Um Krillin. Um, Gary, oh, Gary says he gets all his boxes from Sainsbury's and yeah, says ask them to keep them for you. 
yeah get to know a few retailers um honestly you'll be amazed that they, they get through hundreds of them a week so they're happy to give you boxes um krillin has super chatted thanks rob any rock fans see johnny marr as solo recent no sorry for my squeaky chair again no i i don't really know any johnny marr solo stuff i can hear a beeping is that the scrabble thing I think the Scrabble thing's beeping. Is it that? There's something pressing on it, maybe. It stopped. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was that, wasn't it? It was that, but I don't know why. Strange. Got electrical gremlins now. Well, we do. Sometimes I come in here and hear all kinds of weird noises going on. <laughs> when you're not here. I bought Hitman UK. I bought 85 boxes new and flat packed for three pounds for the lot today at the boot sale. That is an epic deal. Mm. Actually, the boot sale is a great place to look out for packaging. Over the years, I've had um, bubble wrap. I've had uh, envelopes, loads of bubble wrap envelopes I've bought in, in job lots at the boot sales. Mm. So keep your eyes uh, peeled. Uh, Ray Cunningham's just had his first um, merch sale. So yeah, that's pretty good. First merch sale. We've we've kind of dropped merch now. We've not had any headspace for it. We may get know. back into it, but I don't know. Mm. We had a bunch of sales. I think we got up to 17 sales. Yeah, but that was just on the one you did for Steve and Steph. So. Yeah, thanks to Steve and Steph and their their fans of their channel buying my Steve and Steph resale killer shirt. Um okay. We've just jumped to the end, so sorry if we missed any questions. Well, we can always scroll back again. But... Don't we scroll up a bit? Um, Barry says, superstores always used to have areas next to the checkouts for boxes when you were packing your shopping. Yeah, Sainsbury's used to be good for that, and B&Q generally have a box, little box area. So, yeah, just get to know your local town. Ask in shoe shops. Shoe boxes are fantastic. They're always really sturdy, perfect yeah. size for small items. Oh, what is it that happened recently? Um, you got talking to a lady. And well, that's the video that... I'm going to do. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I want to do a video about a yeah. good little tip that I've managed to, yeah, find out recently. Yeah. Okay. And I've kind of got an endless supply of packaging for free now. Anyway, it's the Game Boy started working. I wish, Barry, I'm still annoyed about that. Right, where is it? I'm going to fiddle with it. No. Yes. No, you're not. Let me fiddle with it. <laughs> I'll fiddle and talk. Multi-talented, I yeah, am. Yeah, I bet you've had practice. You're so rude. In fact, you're more rude than I am. You're Mrs. Innuendo, you are. Oh, it works if I do that. That's good. It works. I can oh, those oh buttons okay. So that I can keep leaning over. Um, Oh, Fritz says, uh, what vlog editing software do you use? Uh, we use iMovie on our Mac. Um, yeah, which has been yeah. a bit flaky at the minute. Yeah, it is. We've we bought a new i, uh, what is it called? iBook, MacBook Air. MacBook Air, yeah. Um, so I want to start using that to do my editing because it's, hopefully it should work a lot smoother. Um, but I haven't managed to get my head around editing on that yet. Yeah, iMovie is more than sufficient for what, for what we use. Actually, on our new, um, it's not brand new, it's new to us, the MacBook. It's got uh, Final Cut Pro on it. Yeah, Ellen's used it. Apparently that's really complicated. But, yeah. Yeah. Follow up just to see if there are any questions that we've missed. Damn you, Game Boy. Um, we're still not getting anywhere with that. I wouldn't be this obsessed if it didn't flash that time this red light which shows power flashed on i wouldn't make a very good tv presenter i don't know how to feel <laughs> you're still going backwards yeah I'm just trying to see um there's a question there yeah um, Hitman UK says question you seem to find everything is there anything that you would love to find to keep or to resell that you've never found yet 
Um, there's a couple of board games that I I really fancy picking up. Um, Hotel is one of them. Um, that beeping is still going. It is the Scrabble thing. Maybe I set the timer off. I, maybe I started the timer and now it's going off. Um, I'm trying to think. There were some things when I did. I've been doing videos recently where I go through that book of vintage toys and I found some things in there I'd love to pick up. Um, Zoids. I used to play with Zoids as a kid in the 80s. Um, rarely, if ever, see any at the car boots. But yeah, Game and Watches. I never find them anymore. I can't make this damn thing work. Arrgh! So annoyed. No. <laughs> I shall put you back in charge. Uh, well, we could scroll back down to the bottom now. I was just yeah. going back through to see if we'd missed anything. Glass hammer wrestling belts my son had a few and two of his came out short in length not sure why oh. i'm pretty sure these have been cut you can see on the ends where the scissors have been all right let me get to the bottom um have we missed another super chat or have we read that one no that was that one. Oh yeah right it's the game boy started working that's where we were Oh, 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 oh. Start selling clothes, Nick. It's a lot easier. Yeah, but I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I really am not a clothing seller. Bash him over the head with it. It may work then. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I'll keep this over here, shall I? Um, How many active listings do you have active at once on average? Also, have you tried to... Have you tried or do you drop ship any products? Um, currently, we hover around five, six hundred um, listings, don't we? I think I've got a bunch to relist tonight because we do quite short cycles. We do 10 day cycles on a lot of our stuff. It's pretty much either 10 day or it's good till cancelled. Mm -hmm. um, so it involves a lot of relisting, but we prefer it that way. Yeah, I think as our, cause we're getting on for about 700 listings now, aren't we? Yeah, so well, as it I, grows, I did. we might have to start rethinking that. But... Well, I put on 86 Magic the Gathering listings yeah. in a couple of days last week, so added a lot. Uh, Lisa Fenn, Flat Eric, my son just sold one for 25. Cool, yeah. Very cool. All right, let me get to the end. What time are we? Oh, we're nine o'clock now. Uh, give Nick his toys back. Nick wants to find the Hardhead prequel. Yeah, that was a once in a lifetime thing. It's mad. I'm so glad I made videos about that because we'll be able to look back on that, you know, when it's a distant yeah. memory. And Kay would like a shout out because she got an award for her charity work. So well wow. done. Wow. That's fantastic. Fantastic, Kay. What was the charity work and what were you doing? Mm. If you don't mind me asking. Nick's belts have been cut as he can see the scissor rash. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, apparently we didn't answer the oh, drop shipping question. Yeah, we've never done drop shipping. I know people do it successfully. It's just not something that's ever been part of our business model. Are you going to spend the rest of the night trying to get that fixed? Yeah, I am going to make this work. Andrew will tell you how tenacious that is a good word. I am. I will make this damn thing work if it kills me. Um, Sparrow's End is asking about other board games that you might have picked up today. It was just the usual fodder, um, Downfall, uh, one of the Atmosphere ones that's okay at Christmas on Amazon, the Khufu one, um, some Lego bits, Lego games. Oh, quite an interesting one I don't see very often. There's not much money in masterminds, um, but this is the grand mastermind. Let's mm -hmm. see if I can get that sticker off. Special edition. This was in a chat as if we hadn't bought enough tap today. We came home via a charity shop and got this for 
Don't see some of a pound. Just grand had a, mastermind. Just had a memory of a dream that I had last night. I dreamt that I I found my Mario and Luigi um, game and watch game and watch game. Oh, I saw your game and watch games in the bureau. Yeah. All oh, right. But I, oh, you don't have no. I anymore. don't have that one anymore. Okay. And I dreamt that I found it, and it's only just come to me. It's because somebody just asked um, how we got into it. It was Lee Taylor. Because you guys are truly inspiring. What made you do it? Two things, really. Both being very unhappy in regular nine-to-five jobs. Um, I know I've said this before. I was in the police force, very unhappy with it. Andrew was working for Amazon, very unhappy with, well, the commute. I wasn't mainly. really unhappy. It was just, yeah, the commute. and to plus slough. I yeah. just had Ellen as well. So, um, yeah. Just going to pull the really blind, guys. To go back to work with a small baby. So, yeah. It just all, all kinds of things came in, and you were doing it as a hobby anyway. Yeah. And the second thing is I, I'd always kind of wanted my own business. I, I started a record shop in 98. Um, which didn't last very long, but that I had a passion for retail and wanting to do my own thing. So that was always there. And then yeah, when we and both I really had wanted to do my own thing as well. Yeah. So and then yeah. we discovered eBay around the same sort of time, didn't we? When I was buying and selling game and watches, which is what got me into eBay. That was what reminded me of my dream. Yeah. And then it kind of ticked all the boxes and we'd we'd built up our eBay business whilst we were both working to a level where we could see we could make it work and not necessarily replace two what were fairly good incomes to be quite honest but we could we could see that we could survive and be happy and that was enough so we just we jumped yeah um 16 years ago yeah <laughs> i wouldn't doing it today. i, I mean, wouldn't recommend that to everybody i would no. i would do it with complete caution because full time is a whole different ball game yeah, it felt right for us at the time then we don't have any regrets about it but everybody else is you know everyone's different everyone has different circumstances yeah so yeah i would yeah that's it i did make a video about that whole and thing and we've done variations of it haven't we over the years i've had a couple of bricks and water shops and yeah and now we're and we've also had some offices where we thought we were going to hire staff and we thought we were going to grow and expand business and then we just realized that we're happier doing we're just, it on this scale yeah, we just like working just the two of us yeah <laughs> yeah we're not really comfortable we, having staff or well we you know, expanded our retail thing again and again it got to a point where it, where it took over our life and and the, the overheads were eye-watering we had staffing issues with that to say the least yeah and once we managed to pay off this house and we became kind of, you know, financially, financially really comfortable, we realized we don't need to keep expanding and different things became important to us. One of which was just taking control back of our time and our life. Yeah. So we try with varied levels of success to do less. Now you don't do less though. You're a workaholic, but I still love it. You see, it's difficult. I know. <laughs> anyway yeah it's about the lifestyle choice and about having control of, of like you said our time so if you somebody like your dad says can he help me with the shed then you can drop everything and go and help with the shed yeah stephen owens had a record shop did you also do mini disc stuff um no i mean when i had the record shop well we both worked for virgin but when i left there to set up my own it was just second hand only i had no capital behind me to to buy and sell new stuff so it was secondhand only and it was even back then there was no mini discs about i never saw them yeah. so no i never really dealt in mini discs i just read south wales matt says we are off to be live experience player at la arena in tenerife on tuesday after watching your video many thanks to you and andrea oh i'd love oh, to go have back fun. there I, well we loved it yeah take make the effort to go to that if you've watched the video you know we walked to that um that pool which yeah, is full of seawater it's such a cool place and the sea crashes over the edge of it mm. you can swim in it if it's a hot day it's quite warm in there yeah. oh, oh i'm envious now but we're going to florida soon so yeah it's just i know we, uh, our I, holidays are going to be relaxing this year i think <laughs> we'll go back there though one full day on, but i'm looking still looking forward to it yeah we'll probably go back to that hotel well, one we day do. maybe yeah 
But yeah, have fun. Um, let us know how you get on. Who was that? I missed who that uh, was. That was South Wales. South Matt. Wales, Matt. Fantastic. Mm. Um, I found Caribou today for fifty p. Love picking up that game, says Adrian. Um, <coughs> Manpreet says, "Is it often you get many board games that take over a few months to sell?" as i've got a few games that i listed nearly two months ago and reduced a bit in price but still not selling so far um yeah some board games have very little demand whatsoever yeah i mean i think that you've just learned over the years which ones go well it quickly. changes continually and the, some go on amazon some some that do sell on <coughs> amazon don't necessarily sell all that well on ebay um different markets so i tend to save mine up for amazon for christmas yeah um and a lot of the stuff i used to pick up i don't even touch anymore trends have moved on certain markets have become flooded so yeah you have to just do your research and just accept when you've got something that maybe won't sell and get rid which we do every now and again yeah we have to um i saw Sparrow's End, whose videos I've been watching, mentioned something about loving board games. Oh, Darren's in as well. Hi there. Yeah. Hairspray will clean up those belts nicely, Nick, especially with felt tip. Hairspray. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to try it. What was I going to put on it? WD-40, maybe. It does a similar job, usually. Um, oh, Monty's farted. Has he? How has that not got to you? It, it's got to go past you to me. Can you not smell that? No, oh, smell. it's gonna hit you. Oh, it hasn't hit me yet, but his, I can smell his breath because it's been. Oh, uh, that's his how is that not getting to you? Oh, it's got to me now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that is weird because it's so. It must have it must have snuck underneath. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. He's laid there, curled up, and just farted in his sleep. Oh, I don't think he's asleep. Is he not? He's just trying to act innocent. Oh my god. He's been licking his paw and his breath's been smelling. <laughs> to put his up with breath that. always smells. <laughs> Filthy little uh, animal. Right, let me, let me scroll to the end. Lee Taylor, is it worth selling DVDs? 99%? Nope. Some. I don't know if you were here at the beginning. I mean, this is a good example of what is out there. Um that one, I paid 10p, which is ridiculous. Uh, and I'm going to send it into Amazon and I'm going to shoot for 50 plus. I knew somebody would say it was me when I mean, that was Barry, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It's definitely a doggy smell. That set, which is a Paul McKenna set, uh, paid, it was four for a pound. So 25p. I'm going to go for 30 to 35. Uh, Amazon again on that. Um, but it's getting harder and harder. When we started in this, you could pick up just about any DVD title. And because it was DVD, it would sell because it was at the end of tail end of VHS when we started selling. In fact, we sold a lot of VHS, didn't we? All the time, we'd pick up box sets, wouldn't we? I was talking about Monty's fart, saying that we were blaming the dog. It's definitely it's definitely dog smell, I tell you. That's dog. <laughs> if that's you, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> it's not me, I promise. Do you remember when we used to sell VHSs all the time? We'd pick up box sets and all sorts yeah and i was saying in the early days you could pick up just about any dvd because it was dvd and that was a new thing you'd sell it but now well we all see it every week hundreds and hundreds of dvds laid out and people can't sell them at 50p each so you just have to go for the more obscure check on your phone if you're unsure yeah oh that really does smell still ah <laughs> oh. Will you make a vlog about how to fix a Game Boy? Darren's already done that. Um, I will have a play with it tonight. That sounds wrong. I will mess about with my Game Boy tonight. And I will make it work. And if I can't, then I will be really peed off. Okay. He's scratching the floor now. And um, Seth said, so funny though, where's it gone? Uh, lady said today, this is Seth Rollins. Oh. Lady said today at the boot sale, everything was a quid. Told her I'd take the car. <laughs> there were a few stalls today where like everything was 50p and that sort of thing again. Monty, please don't do that. Oi. <sighs> Bum crack picker. I got caught out twice today at the boot sale, swallowed two beefy farts. 
that different people had dropped in front of me. Oh, that's horrid. Uh, Barry, I've still got a load of VHS tapes in my collection, though my player is up in the loft. I'm sure there was a question that we've missed. Was it? Going back. This one? Question? No. Are you, oh, no. Are you going to vlog fixing a Game Boy? Mm. I'm not actually that technically minded. I don't tend to fix much stuff. It's not really my one of my talents. I'm not sure what my talents are. I can't see any questions. Um, well, we haven't got to it yet. Oh, hey, Gavin. Gavin UK resellers in. Oh, when you went full time, did you have a mortgage? No, we were renting. And at that point in our life was when the housing market went bananas and we thought we were completely left behind. It was only until we opened the shop and we started making some serious money that we just about got on the yeah. ladder, didn't we? And even then it was a struggle. Yeah, it's all thanks to Replay, really. Yeah, Replay was our gaming shop that really got us going. Um, I can't see that question you're talking about. Maybe it was that one. It might have been that one that I was looking at. And then somebody a bit further down um, asked if you had any news on your photos. No. Um, um, let me just no. read that. Uh, will you take less? Says, pulled down my old shed today, which is weird because I've been pulling down my dad's shed. Um, putting in a new bigger one so I can empty my garage of tools for more tat. Ah. The more space you have, the more tat you can put in it. Yeah. Um, I contacted the uh, Imperial War Museum about the collection, hoping that they might be able to help me out a bit. And they said they don't have the resources to look no. at my stuff. So you're still trying to find a um, specialist auction. Place. I've had a message from somebody who saw the video and is really interested in buying it. I'm going to send them a bit more information and some pictures. Mm. And I've told them to make me an offer. He's but a private collector. We really collector. need to get them valued properly, don't we? Yeah, yeah. potentially. Um, that would be the idea. Somebody yes. recommended a uh, military auction mm. up near Grantham, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, which is where you came from. Yeah, I was born in Grantham. So I don't know. I've kind of put it on the shelf for a minute, um, been really busy doing other stuff. But I will keep you informed as and when I get any info on that. Right. Shall we wrap it up? Because it's quarter past nine to, already. Really. Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Um, we still have 220 people in. Oh, 219. Um, Darren says, if you have a Game Boy power pack, try that because it might be a faulty battery compartment, which is often the case. I think it's to do with the connections in the battery compartment because it would it flashed on and off. I think it's just wrecked. <laughs> it will that's, work. That's my personal opinion. It will work. Do you want to put... I'll, I'll, Bet your tenner. No, Francis is I'm, I'm Margaret it. Thatcher in disguise. How is that? Oh, because I was born in Grantham. Yeah. I oh, you. yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Everybody's saying goodbye. Yes, we are going. Yeah. Yeah. We started to do long goodbyes on this, haven't we? we? We pretend we go and then we don't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining us. I hope there's something in there that was uh, interesting or useful. Uh, yeah, I'll lots be of back. dead air while people watch you trying to fix a Game Boy. <laughs> I think Tat Chat is on this channel yeah. this week. So I'll be back with Zaheer when we're going to touch on a thread in the Tat Chat group yeah. um, all about taboo items and items maybe you would and wouldn't pick up. Um, so we're going to touch on that a bit. Yeah. And I'm going to do a thrifting lookbook this week. What's one of them? Oh, you have to see. A lookbook. A lookbook. All right. That kind of thing. I don't know how it's going to work. Yet. Yeah. And I've got an idea in my head. Well, loads of videos coming in because I've got to do the, the vlog of our boozy night at Tom's. Mm -hmm. Moonwalk. The huh? vlog of the moonwalk. Tat chat. Your, what's it called? Thrifting lookbook. I don't know what Thrifty it's going to be. Book. Yet. Something like that. Oh, yeah, that's four videos. Yeah. And then we'll be back next Sunday. <laughs> anyway, we're waffling now. <laughs> we'll let you all get on with your Sunday evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Please bash that like button. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. Have a good week, everyone. Okay.